I know, I get so excited about this stuff. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? It's just this pretty. Hello, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I am so excited to share with you six trends that we are absolutely loving and we think that you are going to love as well. We have a design business here in the Atlanta area and of course as designers we love to know what is trending. We try to help our clients to pick things that aren't too trendy and they'll really enjoy in their homes for many years and these are trends that we have been seeing just really coming up over and over and we think that you're gonna love spending your money on, investing in, and really creating some beautiful moments in your home with them. So we hope you're gonna love today's video. We think you will and you'll want to hit subscribe, stick around for a while and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you are like us and you love trends that are not too trendy, the trends that you really, really love and have a lot of value. These are the ones we're gonna be talking about today. I think you're gonna love it. Let's jump in. One of my favorite trends is black oak. I absolutely love black oak. Black oak, I'm using that term a little bit loosely. It can be different varieties of oak, but it's stained black. That look is just absolutely gorgeous. Black oak is hard, it's heavy, and it's strong, so it's perfect for furniture and accessories. It also has strong graining and burls in it, so it makes it the perfect material to be able to create with because it really just adds a lot of interest and layers into your spaces. It really does make a big difference. Say, like I have the black cabinets in this room that are made with the black oak, that versus just having a painted cabinet, you really feel the impact of that black wood like that. Black oak is also amazing when it's ceruzed. Ceruzing is a liming technique to create a two-tone look, and a lot of times you will see that on black oak pieces because it really helps the graining to really stand out and gives you an even bigger impact. But either way, black oak is an absolutely stunning material that has been around for many, many years and will be around for many to come. The reason why is because it's just, it's classic, it's timeless. The pieces can be really classic that are made with it, like the bookcases that I have. There's a lot of beautiful cabinets that are made with black oak. They really just have a timeless feel to them. You could also do beautiful coffee tables, nightstands, bed frames. There's so many options. You could also go with something that has a little bit more of a contemporary avant-garde feel, something that has a little bit more of a sculptural feel. Either way, black oak will really give you a high impact. It especially if you're putting in a room that is white or a light color. It just gives you a nice little pop against that color. You could also use it in a darker room if you wanted to do a tone on tone look, but either way, it's a really high quality material that you'll feel good about investing your money into. It'll be long wearing, long lasting, and as a style, it's never really just, it's never gonna go out of style. Whereas a lot of times you see with other wood tones, they come and go. This is one that goes with everything, and it just stays. And so that's why I think that this is a trend that we are loving and we think you will as well. One of my favorite trends that I am loving right now is the lived in look. It's been something that I've always been a fan of. I just like the coziness and the feeling of accessibility and approachability. One of the areas that I've created a lived in look is in my bathroom. I've gotta give a little shout out to Harry's. They are a video sponsor and you guys know, you've seen my razor so many times. I've talked about it for years. I am one of the OG fans of Harry's. Harry's blades are made in their own factory in Germany where they've been making blades for over a hundred years. I really love the fact that they really balance affordability and quality is just spectacular. I've gotten so many of my family and friends hooked on Harry's because this is who I use exclusively and just really love. I always get a really great clean shape. I think it's all that German engineering on these. They're just amazing. I love the fact that you can also switch out the blades so you keep your handle. I know you guys are gonna love this as much as I do, so I'm gonna leave my link for you down below, but when you click on that link, it'll give you the starter pack. It's got a $13 value, but it's only to cost you five bucks, and it's gonna get you started. And you're gonna get the razor blade here. Look at this one. Oh, we got a bright blue one this time. You'll also get the shape gel and the little razor cover. 
I had spent so many years trying other razors and after being cut and <laughs> having a lot of razor burn and just not getting a clean enough shave, when I found Harry's, it was like, that's it. <laughs> I haven't tried anything else since. I'm just that happy with it. So I'm gonna leave that link for you guys down below. Definitely check it out because I think you guys will love it. And that $5 set is gonna really take you a long way and I think you'll be hooked. Let's chat about some more interior design trends that I know you're going to absolutely love. Let's talk about Marvel because I remember about 10 years ago in some of the designer magazines I was reading when we were still living in Europe, they were talking about how Marvel was on trend. And here we are all these years later and Marvel is still crazy in. It has not waned at all. Marvel is a material that we've been using in interiors for generations. <laughs> Many, many, many years. According to Britannica, marble is a granular limestone or dolomite, i.e. a rock composed of calcium magnesium carbonate that's been recrystallized under the influence of heat, pressure, and aqueous solutions. The reason that we love it so much is because it's very, very durable. It's a very hard material and it's also absolutely gorgeous. Every piece of marble is unique and it's it's amazing. It, it never ceases to amaze me. I mean, we've been doing interiors for so many years and I still just get excited because every piece is different and it's like its own little work of art that the earth has created for us and it is spectacular. And it comes in all different colors. It can be used in all different applications, but either way, however you choose to use it, marble is a trend that has been trending and probably always will. The ways in which it's being used, that's where I think the real fun can be. You can use it in a very traditional way, going with just a marble tabletop, whether it's for the coffee table or the dining table. You could go for nightstands or dressers with a marble top. Of course, using marble in your bathroom vanities, that's another great place. I also think that you can go for a little bit more of a contemporary feel. You could go with something that has just a little bit more curve to it. You could go for an all marble console table or an all marble side table. These are really great ways of including that material in where you really see all the design of that marble. Just it's 100% a display of its beauty. I think that is a lot of fun. Another great way to use marble in your interiors is to also use it for lamps. There's so many different ways that you can use marble in your spaces and it's one that you can just rest assured that yes, we're always inventing new ways in which to use things and there's always new colors. It, it's always fun to see how like William Sonoma will come out with a marble piece that really has a classic modern feel and then somewhere like CB2 is gonna come out with a marble piece that's gonna be a little bit more avant-garde and a little bit contemporary and maybe they're gonna use green or black or they're gonna go with some unusual color and all of that is still the use of marble. And I think that's where you can have a lot of fun personalizing this trend, making it your own, enjoying creating within your own color palette. But either way, that's money well spent. Because when you invest in marble, it's meant to last. And it's, it's just so beautiful and I think it's just incredible. Next up, let's talk about travertine because I think the travertine is a really interesting material that has come back with a vengeance. Uh, it has been so popular. And I think the reason why is because marble has been on trend for so long and travertine had been the material to use all throughout the 90s, the early 2000s, everybody seemed to be putting travertine into their homes. It was just the material. And then we went through a marble phase. We're back to travertine. I think the reason why is because travertine is actually made of a limestone deposited around mineral springs. It has a really beautiful fibrous look, very durable, maybe not quite as durable as marble and granite, but still very strong. It also comes in creams, beiges, and warm yellows. And I think that's why it's been so on trend because even though you guys see me sitting in a white and black room, We've been really craving a sort of warmth to come back into our homes. And so we've been starting to include a lot of travertine. It can vary quite a bit in color. So you can go with something that's quite yellow if you want to go back to beiges and yellows, 
or you can still use it in a home like I have, in a home that's got a lot of white in it. That's where you get into those creamier colors that it comes in in the lighter, more brown undertone. And that's what's so cool about travertine is that again, just like marble, it's a work of art that the earth has given us. And so it's an amazing material because no piece is ever gonna be the same. You really get an art piece when you use it. I've got it on my back deck. I use it outdoors as well. It's a, an, an, an very, it's a very durable material. It looks great used for coffee tables, indoor and out. Looks incredible on dressers and nightstands. It looks amazing for benches and end tables, console tables. And then the accessories, the accessories, oh, the accessories. <laughs> There's so many, they're so beautiful and they can add just a little bit of warmth into your home. And I think that's why they're so tempting. I love the bowls, I love the trays, I love the candle holders. There's so many different beautiful ways in which you can bring travertine into your home. And I don't think this is a trend that's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. I think we're just, just excited to bring back a lot of the things that we were using before, a lot of the texture that comes out of travertine. It can be honed, it can be polished. I'm seeing all of that. I say just go for what you like. I think you'll really enjoy whatever you pick. Pick something that's gonna be, just really excites you because then you're gonna have a piece in your home that you just, it's, that, it's, it's like an art installation in your home. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about caning. I just finished up a project. Many of you have already seen it. It's the guest bedroom we did for Dr. Ferris and everybody was talking about the caned bed. And I was like, I know, I want that bed so bad in my own house. I love the caning. Caning is actually a method of weaving rattan cane or rattan peel to furniture. It's native to Indonesia, the Philippines, and Malaysia, and dates back as early as the second century. It can be very tropical, or it can also be really classic and modern. Caning is one of those methods that really just adds a lot of character to whatever piece of furniture it's, it's used with. You can go for something that has a more modern feel. You could go for something that has a more tropical feel. You could also go for a piece. William Sonoma is killing it right now with their caned pieces. They've got everything from beautiful headboards to chairs, to dressers, to nightstands. I mean, they have just got so many pieces and it comes in a variety of colors. So you could go for something that's got the natural brown color of whatever the rattan it was made with, or you could, they paint it out in black. I mean, there's so many, oh, even just trays, guys. I mean, ah, I know, I get so excited about this stuff. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? It's just this pretty. But caning is just, uh, it's just something about it. It's just really beautiful. And uh, a lot of times if I'm near it, I feel the need to just run my hands over it. It's got that great texture and it's really pretty. And yeah, I, I think it's something that, yes, it's been very much on trend, but it's been, my sister's bed growing up was caned. And so this has been around, I mean, in prehistoric times, right? <laughs> like it's been around forever. It has been around for a really long time. Cane furniture is not something new, but it has been really popular. And I think it's gonna continue to be so because it just gives you that just that little spark that makes something just a little bit extra special. And that's why I thought, yet again, I thought it was something that you would love as much as I do. Finally, let's talk about linen. Oh, not just any linen. Let's talk about Belgian linen. Flax that's used in Belgian linen was the first textile ever produced by man. Its scraps were found in prehistoric caves. I mean, that's insane. This is a material that's been around for a really long time. How does something become an, an endless trend? right? It's something that you just reach for. We sometimes it's become such a trend that's been around for so long. We take it for granted, right? How does something have that kind of lasting quality to it? According to Libeco, which is one of the most respected Belgian linen sources, linen dates back to Roman times. The Egyptians used it for just about everything. And Belgium is known for producing the finest 
quality there is. I think that this material is one that we go back to over and over because it's so soft. The longer you have it, the better it gets. It's easy to clean. It comes in all different colors. It seems like there's no limit. It's beautiful being used for a linen duvet cover, beautiful used as sheets, as pillows, as hand towels, as curtains. I mean, what do we not want made with Belgian linen? We just want it, we crave it. It feels so good in your hands, it feels so luxurious, and yet it's so approachable and soft. I think that's why. No matter how long this material is around, Belgian linen will be something that we just always, always reach for. Linen is here to stay. It's a trend that just comes back year after year after year. I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of other materials that could be on trend right now, but Belgian linen is just a forever trend. And I think it's well worth investing your money into in something you really get the longevity out of. So there you go, guys. Those are a few trends that we are loving right now and we cannot get enough of. I'm gonna leave the links for all of the items that we've shown you throughout the video. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below for you because I don't know about you, but these videos make me wanna shop. <laughs> So whether you're looking for furniture or the accessories, I always link the items down below in the show notes for you. That way you can check them out. You can also check out my LTK where I post a lot of my mood boards if you wanna see everything put together. Or you can also check out my Amazon storefront because they allow me to post my mood boards there and it's all Amazon items that are shoppable as well. So it's just a lot of fun to be able to shop, shop some trends, get some ideas for your home and just get the ideas, the juices going. It's just, this is why I love what I do so much. It's just endless fun for me. I hope it has been for you as well. I hope you have subscribed if you haven't already. Give the video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments which of these trends you are just loving. Maybe there's a few. Also let me know if there's anything that you just feel like you're just seeing everywhere. Uh, let me know down in the comments if there's a trend like that, that you're just like, oh, Valentina, you will love us. Let me know down in the comments. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers, bye.